the real thing about the, the, the green room is that we want to see how we are performing daily on a daily basis. We started making our monthly performance visible so that we could look what we did last month and, and work over it for the next, for the next uh, period. Then we started to understand about variation around our business for a longer period of time, so like six months or eight months and how things were going. So this is level one mall. So we have here or true north, that's the A3 for this period. Uh, we usually use uh, 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 planning for like two to three years or this, this, this period is a, is a four year plan that goes up to 2018. So we keep on tracking the year here and the performance around it. So, and we're looking for performance in, in a specific way. So we're looking for safety, for people, quality and efficiency. And what we're planning, uh, the, key, the key metrics, performance. The idea around here is to be pretty much like a PDCA cycle. So we're, we, we could see what we plan, what we're doing, how we're, how we're doing and how we're managing it. So how we're uh, studying and acting over, over what we're doing. So that's the, the true north. But actually it's a picture of the past. So I'm looking for my last month performance. This is our second level uh, uh, of deployment, but it was the second level of deployment and now it's the second and the third level together. Everything we, we do now we do on this board. Because this is a, a, a daily checklist of operations. So what we are looking here, so we're looking for the last 24 hours about safety and flow and we keep looking all the time for safety and flow and how we are today on flow, quality and safety and people. And everything that goes wrong here, we move as a problem that we need to solve. So we have some small problems that we can solve like in two days or three days or that are sm small problems that people are working on and these are big problems. So like this is one big problem that emerges emerged in July and we are working this project, this, this problem had a huge impact in our, our hoshin for 2017. So that's the number one problem that we have to manage and it, it is consuming a lot of resources. It was on planet. So this is the area where we look for, for big problems. Uh, so every day we meet here, 10 a.m. Uh, everyone uh, share the, the, the picture of, of our day. And this is the, the, like the A3 for 2017, where we track it uh, mostly in a weekly basis. Uh, it, it is divided by months, but we, we introduce information here almost weekly. And when we, when we start our, our Hoshin plan, we always think about two conditions that we must look after. is safety and, and quality for, for, for patients, also improving care. So this year we are looking for an extended care for our patients and we are developing a huge project here. It is, it is, it is creating a lot of, of new practices around us and it's consuming a lot of resources and getting us a lot of good results already. Uh, then we're developing some uh, system improvements, uh, looking for quality issues and quality outcomes for the patients. They are close related, but this is pretty much more like how the patients understand and see our, our, our system. Because many times we're looking for the value for the system, but patient cannot see the value added in the, in the, in the system. So they're pretty much the same, but they are different the way we treat it. And uh, so one and two are almost the same. Three is what we call the business as usual. So, and and we, we consider now safety as our 
daily basis businesses. Safety is everything for us, so we are doing business as usual, looking for our safety uh, age females. So it's the failure mode and effect analysis that we do over our value stream. So every value stream we develop, we have a, a, a failure mode and effect analysis over it. And then, and how we are performing, the way we are developing our people, and then another huge problem emerged here that was a new facility that, that we had to, to open uh, before we planned it to. That's not bad, but that changed the plan with, that we had. And so the business as usual connects with our, our management system. That connects with how we, we deploy these huddles. So we are, we are deploying these huddles and deploying the, the standard work for leadership. And so this is one of our, our important directives for 2017. As well as how we, we are uh, sharing our knowledge. So the basic plan is up here. And so these are things that are impacting and emerging. Like that, that comes from this area and we have to put in the plan. This is like a mother A3. That, that goes live on a weekly, monthly basis. And so, but we have those eight trees on paper as well and we keep tracking them, but we could just uh, introduce information so we can check if we are doing, where we are doing well, as we plan it, where we are not doing. And uh, like what will impact our resources here, like the planet, uh, condition and the other unplanned condition here. We try to, to look at how we could balance better what we are doing because we, we have limited resources. I mean, we, we, we have problems that emerge that we were not expecting and we have to solve them and they are there. <laughs> so you, you have to take resources out of somewhere here. Well, if, probably if you, if you get here in the next few months, it will be different. So actually it's a live room because we keep changing it. And as long as we change activities here, we are changing uh, uh, the, the data in the performance board. Uh, the real deal, I think, is you, you must deploy to make visible a name. Our aim is connected with our, our mission and our vision. And so as long as we have a clear mission, so, and, and we have it I mean, for a long time, and our mission is to reduce the cancer burden among us all. So it's very easy to understand, it's very clear. So what we can do to make it for real, 